Hi everyone! So I have been looking forward to trying these gorgeous new things out from uh, Spellbinders. Uh, it is part of a new collection that just launched today. Um, the BB's Butterflies collection, which is super gorgeous, designed by BB Cameron. Um, you guys might be familiar with her here, like on YouTube and things. And um, so Spellbinders did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you ever purchase items to those links. So thanks for using those. Um, so many gorgeous new things that she had come out with, um, with all these butterflies. So I was just like, I need to get to trying these out. They're so pretty. Um, I do have a few of the collection, and one thing I will show you is the stamp set. I have the um, butterfly sentiments, which of course have like sentiments that kind of, you know, go back to the whole butterfly theme. But these butterflies can also be cut with one of the die sets that's uh, also available. So I'll link both this and the die set, um, although I did not, um, I don't have the die set here to show you guys. But, uh, super pretty you know so the stamp set again photopolymer stamps happy birthday to you congratulations sending prayers stay strong thinking of you thank you sending hugs with heartfelt condolences and the beautiful butterflies that you can build up and like i said the die set will cut those different pieces if you were on to pick that up and then here i have um, a couple different things so we have the pop-up butterfly and the delicate butterflies sorry about so that and as you can see they have um the outer layer uh, outer layer <laughs> and then the inner um inlay so these are two different things but the inlay cuts from this also so you can just layer those pieces up of course i have samples yours will come something more like this where it has inspo or it has um, instruction if that's what it needs to have but it'll be something like that i'll measure this largest butterfly for you oh i do want to mention depending on when you're watching they just launched on spellbinders a new um uh, special uh, $25 off of $100 cart and generally with that you don't need a discount code or whatever it is you just have to put $100 worth of products in your cart and the $25 will be automatically deducted so that's a great thing especially now where they have these launches today so um, like I said so the largest area is like two and a half two and three quarters and by just like two and a quarter or so and then the other ones you know kind of go along with that I'll measure this guy for you in a minute and then we have the, again the outer butterfly the inlay and outer butterfly that beautiful shape there with that little inlay and then we have two different bodies so this one you know I would pair up with that guy and this one can go with both of these or if you want a larger body you can switch it up however you like and uh, this is the pop-up butterfly super simple mechanism we'll go through I think we're going to use all these items today so you can see how to use the pop-up butterfly too so we have the mechanism here we have the butterfly with the inlays so if you want to do you know a delicate inlay but you also have this guy here so we have both of these um, left and right wings and then we have the center butterfly body that has a little score line that's going to help you uh, fold that in half to put it in a card if you want to or you don't have to actually use that you can just put it on the front of a card to be a little dimensional so different ways to use that I do also want to mention um, happy Valentine's Day <laughs> since it is the 14th when uh, Spellbinders launches their new items I do also have um, some Susan's Flora uh, or floral type dies to share with you but they also have um, some new stamps uh, these again photopolymer stamps like this one's a whole background oh, it smells so good um, so this card maker three uh, let's see if I have something I can place on the back here so this one is a sweet little butterfly set so another great one to pair up with BB's butterflies there and I believe this is called whimsical butterflies spread your wings good things take time without change there would be no butterflies so really pretty with the hello Look at that. Really, really cute. Lots of butterflies on that one. This one, uh, I believe, is... Let me see. Well, I know this one for sure is All Geek. <laughs> so you can see it's very tech kind of related. Let's be awkward together. Talk nerdy to me. <laughs> Birthday wishes loading. How cute! <laughs> the little heart with like the little uh, circuitry there. Little atoms and fun things. Um, and then we have this one here. I believe this one is In Bloom. It's a whole background. I mean, this will fill up an A2 card if you want to color it in or just have it as a background or just, you know, stamp it and give it to people that way. Kids, they can color it in. Really cute. Sorry, yeah. And this one is Many Greetings, I believe. So it has all these fun um, loads of love. Miss you. Lucky to know you. The future is bright. Wish you were here. And then all kinds of different fun things with the little glasses. So cute. So I just want to show you those. I do have some Susan Floral. I just went uh, and dies to uh, grab the items I have from Susan's Garden. This is the Bearded Iris die set. Love, simple, just gorgeous. You have one and one, so you're just going to pair those up. You have your little leaves and then the um, stamen or center uh, 
looking forward to trying those out for you guys. And I also want to show you the uh, stamp set that goes along with these because I think with the flowers and butterflies, uh, to me, you know, you can mix and match all those things. And um, I want to show you the um, garden sentiments. Flowers are like friends. They bring color to your world. Congratulations. Happy birthday. Thinking of you. Happy anniversary. Live life in full bloom. You know, all kinds of sweet uh, sentiments there. And I happen to know that the Susan's Garden also has a want it all bundle they usually put out. So if you want all of the new releases of uh, those beautiful flowers you can create, um, I'll have that link too at the, in the description box. But let me grab some papers and we will get started. Okay guys, so to get started I have a standard A2 size card base here. This is from uh, one of my Spellbinders kits. I just like to keep the card bases here handy so it has that textured paper. A2 size card base. Uh, I'm going to Start making a background for our cards, so just um, kind of like a resist background. So just a little playful. I'm just going to use this piece of white paper here and just go like four and an eighth by five and three eighths or so. Just so it just mats into our card base there. And Sorry, so I'm just going to stamp all over with some watermark ink. Um, and then do like a resist technique here, and maybe what I will do is get my little okay, embossing. So I got my buddy. little embossing buddy to help keep the little static electricity away, <laughs> so that way our um, the little powder just stays where it needs to and not all over the card. And so I'm just gonna stamp these guys randomly, probably the smaller ones, and I'm probably not gonna do the centers right now because it's not necessary so for this technique I'm just gonna put this in the background kind of centering them I know it's hard to see because it's clear ink but I'm gonna try to just kind of put them here and there in this area so just gonna do my best if you want to use a stamp press or something like that you know go for it but hopefully you can see that that is pretty good where is it right there there, maybe there, as you can see right in here. So there's one there. Maybe put a little guy over here. So we have a couple there. And then I think I'm going to take the small guy and just put him all over the place. But I really want to center things, keep him kind of in the center area. And then I'm just going to maybe up here and maybe just one more here. Okay, and actually, let me see. Just need another scrap paper. I'm just going to use some clear embossing powder if you want to use white or color, however you want to do it, but I'm just going to make it so that's a resist, so I really want it to be clear. And hopefully once I get it on here you'll see better the butterflies that I have on there. Could have done a little better with my embossing buddy in this one area. Oopsie. Right there. Okay, and I'm just going to hit this with my heat tool and that will set that clear powder. And I'll be back. So you gotta hit this with your heat tool. Just, you know, you stay in one area until it gets shiny and then just move away. Because if you stay there too long, it will flatten out. So as you can see, hopefully you can see it's getting shiny there. Go to the next area. And I'll just keep moving along. Okay, just to finish this up, so hope you can kind of see those resisted butterflies. I'm just going to do a little something in the center. So I'm not trying to cover every butterfly. I'm just taking a very light blue um, color here. I'm going to start off over here. Just kind of start in the center and let that resist work. But I don't want to do too much. Just a little something in the background. At least that's what I'm planning for. So just a little something back here. And once I'm done and I'm happy with like the amount of blue that I have back there, because I just want it to be a little whisper of something, as you can see there. When I'm all done, I'll take a paper towel and just wipe over. Well, right now I just have this little towel. And just wipe over, because what happens is it'll remove whatever excess is really stuck on your resist, and it'll even make it pop more, okay? So 
I'll be back. I'm just going to brighten it up just a little bit and then we'll move on to die cutting. Okay, so we have our card front, a little resist in the background there. I'm going to use the two smaller um, dies here. And I'm going to make it really sweet, just like light on light, because on the inside we're going to have a pop-up butterfly, which I think is going to look really lovely. And then um, the centerpiece. So what I'm going to do is just on this pearlescent white paper is cut both these guys out and just the inlay portion. So they're really going to be delicate and gorgeous like that. So I'm going to run both of these through. Of course, we apply tapes so that they do not move. You don't want these moving in your die cutting machine at all since we have the two dies that are matched up there. And I'll do the same thing with this guy and I'll run it through. And then I think for the body center, I'll go with black, just a nice stark black um, contrast there. So okay, I'll be right back. So I have my little die cuts here. So um, I'm just going to adhere the little bodies <laughs> to my wings on both of them. And so I just put some glue right down the center here. Probably didn't need to go down the whole center, but we're going to stick them to our card that way anyway, so that's okay. So I'm going to stick that on. And same thing with this guy. Just grab that little body and put them right there. And I'll be right back. Okay, we have our little guys. And before I um, place them down, I'm going to stamp my sentiment on the outside of the card. And I'm also going to do another sentiment on the inside. So, I'm going to line this up here. Whenever you do like a little heat embossing, your paper kind of wants to curl because of the heat that was applied to it. So just know that. So it kind of gets a little bit, a little bit wonky. Um, I think I'm going to use the um, Whimsical Butterfly stamp set along with um, the stamp set uh, for BB's butterflies. And I wanted to do, let's do congratulations on the outside. Just simple and just kind of here. And on the inside, I'll do the um, spread your wings. I think it'll be really nice. And that looked straight, but now I'm going to straighten it out using my guide here. That looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to ink that up. I'm going to be very careful because, like I said, my paper got a little bit wonky there. Aw, sweet. And then on the inside of the card, I'm also going to put a sentiment, like I mentioned there. So I'm just going to remove this. And just down here, I'm going to pop on... Uh, spread your wings and I always put things in this bottom corner it seems like but this one I mean, you can place it anywhere we're gonna have the butterfly pop up in here so I mean maybe we'll put it up here that'll be good something different from what I normally do okay and oh <laughs> my congratulations still there good thing I saw it that I didn't really push down too hard there and I'll stamp this up here. Gorgeous. Okay, I'll clean up and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to simply apply this flat, but if you want to, you know, pop that panel up, that would look really nice. Do some layering, however it is that you want. And I'm just going to place this right on here. I'm going to hold that down just so it flattens out really nicely, especially because of the uh, heat tool kind of warping my paper a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I know it's a little hard to see. I've been trying to play with my lighting, but it's even as low as it is, it's still very bright in here. <laughs> so there it is. Um, okay, so we're just going to pop these guys on here, and that's kind of why I wanted them just gossamer like this, so you can still see what's going on in the background with that beautiful um, work that we did. So, you know, how do we want to do this? We want that guy, he's already kind of going that way. I kind of like this guy here. And, you know, the reason I put that one in that direction is because that's what I like to do. So he's already going in that direction. And this guy's already going this direction. Yeah. If I do that that way and this way. Oh, we can do that. Okay. So let's go. 
And I'm just going to bend up his little wings so it's only going to glue down in the center and that's just what I like to do. So I'll pop that there. And same thing with this guy. Put a little glue. And bring him in here. That'll be the outside of the card. I'm going to wait for this to set up just a moment. But in the meantime, I'm going to grab the papers. So we have our uh, pop-up mechanism. I'm going to cut that out of white paper. I just need to grab some scrap of white paper. It doesn't take very much. And then as far as the wings go, I'm going to do these outer wings from this light blue pearlescent. So as you can see on the outside, it's kind of simple, but on the inside, we're going to have spread your wings and fly, and it's going to be like a more dramatic butterfly. And then we're going to do it. So I'm going to cut these guys out of this blue paper. And then we're also going to need these with the inlays. And I'm going to cut those from some of that Spellbinder's gorgeous gold paper, and I use it all up. So this is all used up, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is pop that on there. And sorry, is that the right one? This guy and tape those down so they do not move. Run that through, same thing with this guy and his inlay. And then uh, the body center, I'm still gonna cut from the black paper, okay? So when I come back, I'll have our pieces that we need for our uh, pop-up okay, butterfly. Guys. So these are our pieces, look at them, gorgeous. Look at this guy, oh, so pretty. Okay, so the pieces you'll need Again, our left and right wings. I mean, if you want to do the gossamer part or not, of course you do. <laughs> you have this. We have our basic pieces here, our little body, and then we have this piece. This is our mechanism. So this guy, there's score lines on it. I know it might be hard to see on my camera there. And what I'm going to do is take that very center one and go ahead and fold it. Mountain fold, I guess, but just fold it back, right? And then we're just going to go zigzaggy from there. <laughs> so up on this one, up on this one and down on this little guy and when it was down is like back right so we're just accordion folding at this point and then this little guy okay so right now it's just something like this and then these guys basically i'm going to fold this tab back and back because this is the side where the die cut into it nicely and I want to keep that. And these guys, we're basically going to glue them on in here. Okay, so that's what we're getting ready to do is glue these guys there. And then these, we need to cut the gold tab or the whatever tab, the tab that's left. <laughs> we need to go ahead and remove that. Because they're just going to lay on top of our little blue layer, that first layer. So we're just going to remove this. And you guys wouldn't believe me if I told you another neighbor is doing a roof. <laughs> the one just finished up and now the other one started. So I know you guys say you can't hear it, but they're going for it. I'm like, how, how? I don't know. Okay, so again, all we're going to do is glue these on. So we're putting glue on this. And basically this front part of the flap, you know, this area that was facing up, is going to go right into this middle piece where it kind of goes up and down. And glue them right into there. Now I use wet glue because I prefer to use a wet glue, but if you used an adhesive runner, of course, you would just stick it down and you'd move on. But I'm going to hold on to this for a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. And that way I can just hold them both at the same time. But I do need to hold on to that one just for a little bit just to make sure it stays right on the edge there. And this guy is going to glue on the opposite side. So now I made the mechanism white. If you want to, you know, go in with the color that matches this. I just went with what matches the card base. I thought that would uh, work best. We are going to cover this middle section up with the little body too. So just know that. So I'm going to hold on to this just till it's set up. And I'll be right back. I'm basically going to just pinch it like this so I can hold it flat. Okay, so we have something that looks like this. And what I'm showing you right now is literally what is shown in the uh, directions. Sometimes I'll have a PDF that you can follow. Um, so I just did exactly that. So it looks a little different. Like on this part, I would have probably said to bend it a different way, but that's okay. So again, I'm following along with the instructions provided. So it's like this. I just want to show you, you have this little tab here. So what we're going to do is fold this tab in just at the little tab end. 
I'm going to put a little glue on this, just on that little tab. So I folded it in, right? And all I'm going to do is bring this up and push it against the butterfly wing. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Fold it in, like completely in, okay? And I'm going to put a little glue here. And again, just hold that against their butterfly wing like that. Okay, so I'm going to hold on to that. And again, since I'm using a wet glue, <laughs> I want to keep it um, sturdy for a little bit. But I'll show you pretty much what's going to happen is once you let it go, and you can open it up, it's going to make like a little box. You see that? I'm just being very careful right now because of the glue. But look at that, you guys. So anyway, let's hold on to this until we move on. I just kind of want to show you what's going to happen. And actually, that'll be in the next part. So let me just hold on to this until it you know, sets up with my white glue, and I'll be right back. We're good to go for now. So again, we're going to open this up. And I'm just going to push on this bottom part to make those little boxes, as you can see, and then bring this out. So now it's kind of flat here. OK, again, it was like this. <laughs> and then as you open it up, the little boxes kind of want to create their own thing. Okay, so now we're going to adhere these guys. Now, you know, do you want to just adhere the very middle and let it kind of float? That's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, glue it down just so we know it's not going to move on us or do anything while we're creating our pop-up. So just there and here a little bit. And again, this is going to be exactly the same size because it's from the same die. But like I said, if you just want to glue that middle piece and let that fly, it's lovely. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. I'll just put some glue and adhere this one. Pretty. Okay. Just a tip, as I did that, all I did was hold them together like this. <laughs> that way I had that really nice and flat in there. So that helped out. Look at that. So gorgeous. And then we have this little guy. And I'm just going to fold him down the center just to get him ready for his debut. <laughs> and I'm folding it in like a valley fold, okay? Because... Um, obviously, he needs to fold in half in that direction. So just, I'm gently, this is some really thick paper. So I'm just taking my time with it. And I'll apply glue. So if you look, and they did the same thing with um, the little butterflies out here. The little body actually has grooves where you can place it exactly so it looks just right on there. And so as you can see with this one too, and the little body area is like this shape and this piece. So you can place them right in there. Um, so I'm just going to put glue here and here because I know that's going to touch. And I'm just going to place this little guy in there. And since this is metallic paper, it's going to take a little moment to set up. So I'm just going to hold on to them for just a little bit and I'll be back. I think I'm ready. So. The last thing is we're going to put glue. Now we're just going to put glue not in this middle area. That's kind of giving you that little area that's going to be able to open and close and things. But you're applying it on this part of the tab. So not this middle area, but just this part that comes off of that little, the smaller tab piece. And again, I'm using a wet glue, so I'm going to have to let it sit for a moment before I have my moment of truth when you open it up. But we're going to close this guy up and put them, you know, wherever it is that you would like. I'm just going to put it like right here. And I'm pushing my card close, so I don't really know where that's going to end up being. So let's just put that in there. And I just kind of tucked it in there, guys. And it's not super, like, right into the uh, fold. If I look, it's a little bit off of that. Just from having placed it in there, as you can see. Look at that. I know it's my glue. I don't want to mess with it quite yet, but hopefully you can kind of see what's going on. It's a little bit further up. Give it an opening. Okay, so I just kind of want to see where is I'm putting it so you guys can see where I'm putting it. <laughs> All right, and I'm going to bring it up just a little bit. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think that's good. I'm going to hold it down and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so there we have it with that beautiful resist, some pretty little butterflies. Congratulations. And when you open up, spread your wings, and we have that beautiful butterfly popping up right there. So gorgeous, so simple. I mean, just those few pieces and 
I mean, you just make this stunning butterfly. And then you still have plenty of room to write your sentiment, right? Which is always um, a really great thing to have, especially in a pop-up. So thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much, Spellbinders, for sending these items for review. Like I said, this is part of the BB's Butterfly's new collection. There's a stencil and some other fun things. And depending on when you're watching this, uh, Spellbinders just kicked off $25 off of a $100 cart. So basically 25% off, right? <laughs> um, if you're right at the 100 Um and that comes off automatically in the cart. So uh, check that out. I'll have all the links in the description box. And I'll see you guys at the next one. Bye now.